Sir Philip Sidney, the star of Renaissance literature. Hello everyone. Today, we'll dive deep into the world of Renaissance and early modern literature to explore the works and influence of Sir Philip Sidney. A literary giant of his time, Sidney's work played a pivotal role in shaping English literature as we know it. Let's embark on this exciting journey. Sir Philip Sidney, 1554 to 1586, was an English poet, courtier, scholar, and soldier. Born into a well-connected family, he became one of the Elizabethan age's most prominent figures. While his life was cut short, his impact on literature was profound. He was not only known for his writings but also for his chivalrous nature. This dual legacy of being both a talented writer and a knight made him a revered figure in English history. Sidney is best known for three primary works. 1. Astrophel and Stella, a sequence of sonnets and songs that explore the themes of love and desire. It was one of the earliest English sonnet sequences and has been influential to many poets after him. 2. The Defense of Poesy, also known as An Apology for Poetry, an essay where Sidney argues in favor of the value of poetry and society. It's one of the most important pieces of literary criticism from the Renaissance era. 3. The Countess of Pembroke's Arcadia, often simply called Arcadia, this is a romantic prose narrative interspersed with verse. It's an exploration of love, politics, and philosophy. Sir Philip Sidney's work had a significant influence on later poets and writers. His blending of classical and contemporary themes was innovative, setting the stage for many writers that followed. His sonnet sequence, Astrophel and Stella, inspired other poets like Shakespeare and Edmund Spencer to craft their sonnet sequences. The defense of poesy served as a powerful argument for the importance of literature in society, emphasizing the moral and educational value of poetry. And there you have it. The fascinating world of Sir Philip Sidney. It's always astounding to learn how figures from the past have shaped the literary landscape we appreciate today. We hope this glimpse into Sydney's world has enlightened and inspired you. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of English literature.